We will present you the university and we will show you some videos and uh, we will have presentations from uh, our panel members. Valeria Costantino, Erasmus Delegate for UNINA, Marina Alfano, member of the International Relations Office at UNINA, and Bruno Catalanotti, Institutional Coordinator for the Aurora Network. So we will start briefly, you know, introducing ourselves. My name is Elena Dell'Aquila. I am one of the um, office manager for the Aurora project uh, at UNINA, involved in the different activities and content uh, on the different Aurora work packages, uh, dealing and supporting uh, the IC coordinator, Professor Alessandro Arienzo, and uh, different working groups, you know, involved in the different activities and uh, work packages. Uh, Alessia, if you want to give, you know, a brief presentation. Thank you, Elena. Hi, everybody. Uh, I am Alessia Caso. I'm also uh, the other um, office manager for um, UNINA in the Frame of Aurora project. Elena and myself work closely with people in charge of the activities regarding the um, Aurora um, Aurora um, domains and the different working groups on the six Aurora work packages. Okay, thank you very much, Alessia. I would now ask uh, uh, Valeria to share her experience as Erasmus uh, delegate. And uh, Valeria is actively involved in uh, internationalization activities and will introduce the UNINA campus and welcome prospective students to the campus also through a virtual tour. So Valeria, please, the floor is yours. Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks, Elena, for the introduction. And uh, it's my great pleasure and honor today to welcome you all in this uh, virtual uh, uh, tour in our university, the University of Napoli, Federico II. <clears throat> First, I wish to welcome all of you on behalf of our rector, Professor Matteo Lorito, and as Erasmus uh, delegate. And I wish to introduce this virtual tool, telling you that uh, the University of Naples is the oldest public university mm -hmm. in the world. In fact, the university has been founded 800 years ago by the emperor, Federico II, with the aim to put together the best scientists and professors to prepare the future political class free of the pop influence. So welcome in UNINA. UNINA has a strong international vocation. Our classes are open and welcome students from any country, culture and religion. With about 300 agreements with other universities, our students have access to a wide variety of uh, courses at home, as well as abroad, including the double degrees and master uh, international program and the PhD international programs. We really believe in the importance of the international classes, international education as a tool to prepare the best student, future leaders of our society. So welcome, benvenuti in Naples, Napoli, city of hospitality, cultural exchange, and arbor of the Mediterranean. We really wish to include all international students in our community. For this reason, uh, the University of, of Naples has a welcoming board that coordinate social uh, events and activity. Finally, um, I suggest uh, not to miss the chance to learn uh, a little bit of uh, our language. Take advantage of our uh, language center and uh, say, knowing some uh, Italians uh, will be very nice to make the experience uh, uh, much more rich because you could enjoy our city, our food, our people and stay together uh, with our student and our faculty and our staff. So welcome in UNINA. And now we will have uh, this virtual tour, tour so you can uh, uh, see uh, the best place uh, the, of our campus uh, uh, that is uh, 
diffused in all the city. University campus is the whole city of Naples. Rooms, laboratories, libraries are spread all over the city from the historic centre to the new suburban new areas. This way teachers, students and all the personnel of the university contribute to make the city live and they themselves live Naples not only as a workplace but as a cultural and economic centre. Eighty thousand students 2,500 professors, 26 departments, more than 50 research centers, more than 30 PhD courses. These are only some figures necessary to understand the role of the university in the cultural and technological growth of a city and a whole country. The university makes training and research for Italy, Europe, the world. Every year, Naples hosts more than 1,000 foreign students. Of these, more than 400 attend the University of Naples' Federico II in the field of the Erasmus Plus program. They spend a semester or a year in our university, attending our courses, our laboratories and studying with our students. It is a great experience that gives added value both to foreign students and to our university. But Federico II is not only incoming mobilities. Almost 1,000 of our students go abroad every year to live an experience in a foreign university. The university is 800 years old and makes it a leading institution of the Western world strongly future-oriented. The main goal is giving the right value to its human resources, to trainings and researches in order to be ready for the future challenges running so fast. Federico Secondo is also in dialogue with the job market through synergies with local and multinational companies that invest every year in our research projects. In this context, we are carrying out our cooperation with Apple that gave as a result the birth of the first European iOS Academy. Federico Secondo means believe in research, believe in creativity, Believe in Mankind is our only way of being Federico Secondo. This makes our university a global one.
Okay, so thanks for this interesting video. And uh, now, Elena, I think you can uh, go on with the other presentation. Thanks to all. Thank you very much, uh, Valeria. I think, you know, with this video, we gave, you know, a little touch of the complexity and, uh, you know, the global vision that uh, Federico Secondo University have. So I would um, now give uh, the floor to the next, you know, member of our panel, Marina Alfano, uh, who is a member of the International Relations Office. And uh, Marina will be giving us an overview of the training and learning opportunities available at UNINA. Please, Marina, the floor is yours. Thank you, Elena. First of all, I want to say to everyone that I'm really honored to speak and to have the opportunity to speak in behalf of this university. I feel like my university and uh, I want to share a little presentation with you. I'm going to show some slides and I want to say that after the presentation, it will be possible to download the presentation so you will be able to see all the useful link uh, and things I'm going to show you right now. So, mm -hmm. do you see my presentation? Are you seeing my screen? Yes, we, we are able to see it. Thank okay. you very much, Marina. Thank you. So, First of all, uh, this is like a really brief presentation and we would like uh, through this slide to give you an insight in our university and what we can offer you in terms of high care in education and also research. We are really making an effort to combine teaching, but also to share the friendly atmosphere we have in Naples and that is uh, typical of uh, Neapolitan characters. We are really convinced that the, this kind of synergy and this kind of integration makes the university and so the experience for all the students who want to attend a period here in Naples at Tunina, a really nice place to learn, to live and to work because we really feel like a community here. Uh, as also Professor Costantino said before, we are we have a great history behind us because uh, University Federico II di Napoli have has almost eight uh, century of history, and we are a really old institution and one of the first state university in the world. Uh, here, uh, a um, few insights in our history. As Professor Costantino said, we are funded in uh, 1224 by Frederick and uh, is one of the first uh, sovereigns that create a university in order to um, teach to person a lot of different uh, um, arguments. And uh, right now um, we keep the, um, our goal and our focus to be up to date and to evolve with all the challenges of uh, the modern world. And that is why we are really proud to have more than 300 international agreements with great university all around the world. And our staff and our students take part in a variety of exchange programs. And we really are willing to create a networks with uh, all students and teachers from laboratories and institutes from all around the world. A little bit we need to talk also about uh, Napoli, the city that hosts us, and it's uh, a city located in southern Italy. And um, its uh, foundation as Partenope or Paleopolis is uh, in uh, the 9th, 9th century BC. And then uh, we are re-established re as Neapolis, that means uh, new city, Neapolis, in uh, 470 BC. 
So we are one of the most sentient cities in Europe and uh, street, as you, as you saw in uh, the video before my presentation, um, streets and build, buildings and facilities around the city really are able to tell the long history of our city, Naples. Uh, Napoli is the regional capital of Campania and we are the third largest cities in uh, Italy after Rome and uh, Milan. Here uh, are about uh, nine, 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 I'm sorry, a little bit uh, uh, emotional today. And uh, there are uh, around 907,000 people who live in the city. And we are one of the most densely populated cities in Europe. Uh, as you may know, our historic center is um, a World Heritage States uh, site, I'm sorry. And um, as you will see while visiting our city, there are a lot of buildings, facilities that uh, truly represent uh, all the relevant periods in our history. And they are also in a fair state of conservation. And we also are really proud of the um, uh, keep the important relationship with our city to the sea, maintaining all the archaeology uh, remains of Roman period all along the sea coast. And uh, also you will be able, able to see uh, all this kind of marine life in Castelnuovo to Capo Posillipo, different Napoli, Napoli quarters. Here we want to share two really useful links um, that we made uh, in order to explain to students who want to attend a period of mobility here, where you will be able to click on that link and to have information about uh, the cost of living in Naples. We share a lot of details uh, from food to transport to, to also clothing, but um, more information about the rain for months. And another link uh, where we share a Union International Student Guide with uh, a lot of helpful tips. Here, uh, as you have seen in the video we shared, we also have at this link a guide that uh, a map, a Google Maps we made about all the facilities in Naples, because as you can see on that maps, there are really a lot of uh, buildings and a lot of uh, architectural heritage that is university property. Uh, we have five museums in the historic center of Naples. As you can see here, we have some photos of the paleontolo paleontology museum, the science museum, the natural science museum, and the real miner mineralogical museum. We can also share, we also decided to share a few photos about um, the Chiostro of San Marcellino and Festo, our botanical garden, the Reggio of Portici, and the Aula Magna in the university headquarters in Corso Umberto in the historic center of Naples. We want to share here uh, some information about uh, the Italian education system. Uh, International students can apply to university uh, in Italy if they have an educational qualification that, uh, of course, allow, allow the students to enroll here. And the, this qualification needs to be a study period at, uh, at, of at least 12 years. Uh, here, the university sector is organized in uh, undergrad degree, so it means bachelor, and uh, graduate degree, so the master degree, here we call the Laura and Laura Magistrale. Then there are postgraduate post degrees, that is the PhD, so Dottorato di Ricerca, and then uh, there are specializing masters and uh, continuing education programs. Here in Italy, we also offer in Labra Magistrale Cico Unico, that means uh, a merge of 
bachelor and master degree. There can be five or six year degree program. And usually they are offered in medicine, veterinary, med and veterinary medicine, pharmacy, architecture, and law. Here in Federico II, we have four schools divided in 26 departments. So are the School of Agriculture and Veterinary Medicine, School of Medicine, School of Human and so Social Science, and a Polytechnic and Basic Science School. Uh, we have uh, 13 teaching areas and uh, 100, 152 degree courses, uh, 13 degree courses that we offer in uh, English, five Erasmus Mundus Joint Master degrees and 10 double degrees. Here, a list of all the courses that we offer in English on our website, of course, there are all the information you need to know about these courses. And there are also uh, other ones that are offered in Italian and English. Here, a list of our double degrees. As you can see, there are a lot of different thematics like food and nutrition sciences, but also pharmacy, economics, uh, engineering, uh, and et cetera. Here, the five Erasmus Mundus joint master degree that actually are held in Naples. Ekimina. And uh, here's some insight about studying Naples for Erasmus and exchange students. Uh, students around the world are able to spend a semester or a full academic year at Tunina if they, uh, their university, of course, made a nomination and they just need to fill an application form online. The application form is opened in, uh, from April to June for first semester and the whole academic year, and from October to November for the second semester. Courses uh, can start in uh, mid to late September, September and or in um, uh, early October. And generally, generally, they are held through the end of May or middle of June. Teaching activities are divided in two semesters here, so from September to February and from February to July. Uh, there are two half-term holidays here, so at Christmas and Easter, and summer holidays that starts in July and that end with the beginning of courses in September and October for the next academic year. Uh, we also offer um, an opportunity of this uh, uh, ISU, that is a service that we offer uh, that is free of charge to help international students finding accommodation, but not only that, they help students for a lot of things like having the Codice Fiscale or uh, residence permit and stuff like that, bureaucratic stuff here in Naples. And uh, non-AU student, of course, must contact the Italian or consulate embassy uh, in their city in order to check all the visa requirement for a study period here in Italy. And we also share here a link where all the informa most Im important information are shared about that. Uh, we also have an university language center called CLA that offers free intensive Italian language courses before of each semester. Not only that, but uh, CLA also proposed a project called Tandem, that is a exchange between two students that allow um, to talking to learn and revise and refine all the language skills in order to have a um, Pretty, much, pretty better uh, experience here in uh, Naples to be independent, to talk uh, whenever they need. They also organize a um, movie cineforum in uh, different languages with subtitles in Italian. And we are also uh, really proud of another uh, center in the university that is called Synapsi, 
where all the students uh, that have um, temporary difficulties or disability uh, are able to have services and supports. So here, the links of CLA and Synapse, you can check to have all the information. We are really proud to present some uh, UNINA alumni, so um, uh, people who graduated here that uh, have uh, had a um, great variety of careers, but really meaningful ones. We have a saint, San Tomaso d'Aquino, philosophers, a great uh, entrepreneur like Nicola Romeo, mathematician, but not only that, we are all really proud to have had uh, as an alumno here, uh, alumni here, Giorgio Napolitano, who was a president of uh, Italian Republic. And then we just want to share the link of um, our international website where you can check and find all the useful tips and information um, about uh, living in Naples, about our university and other things like that. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, uh, Marina, for this you know, very rich uh, overview. And uh, I would uh, now give the floor to Bruno Catalanotti, Institutional Coordinator for the Aurora Network, who will be giving us a brief overview of the training opportunities that are offered by UNINA within the Aurora framework. So course catalog, ad hoc training events, some soft skills, uh, and SDG related events that have been activated. So Bruno, please, the floor is yours. Thank you. Elena, thank you very much for your introduction. Thank you very much, uh, all of you, to attending this uh, moment in which we share our, uh, we can see our love for our university and our city. So forgive us, but uh, uh, for us, it's very, very important to share with you our feelings about this, uh, this city. I will go quickly uh, for a short tour. Can you see my... Yes, my... we do, Bruno. Okay. Yeah. Do. So just have a quick tour, uh, just to understand what you can do in the University of Napoli uh, and uh, where you can find information useful for uh, your projects in, in Napoli. Uh, of course, you can go to the UNINA uh, website, uh, which is uh, easily found also in Google, uh, typing uh, Aurora in the UNINA. Uh, basically, the homepage is uh, principally focused on information uh, for Italian uh, participants. So you can go to the Aurora and Naples uh, table. Well, you should go, but of course, my internet is pretty slow now. Uh, where in, in this page, you can start finding uh, basic information, uh, such as the one Marina was uh, uh, explaining before. You have also useful links, uh, including uh, the Union International uh, website, uh, and also how you can uh, go to, uh, to, to, to have uh, some support in, 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 your stay, in your stay in Naples. Uh, scrolling down, you can find uh, uh, all the activities that we are preparing uh, to, to for, for Aurora specifically. And you can see that uh, our opportunities are uh, in three different columns. And the left column, the degree programs, uh, uh, these are actually mainly programs uh, uh, in Italian. Uh, so the, the, the target people is more Italian students. But what can be very interesting for foreign students is the, the central and the right uh, column. In the central column, you can find the courses and learning opportunities uh, organized in, uh, within our uh, um, Aurora uh, thematic domains. And uh, you can find that the list of all the, the, the courses or teaching units uh, that for, for each domain. Uh, I can 
say that at the moment the, 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 the website is in progress, so also uh, the offer is, is in progress. Uh, you can find the list, uh, which is not uh, the, the final list, because every month we continue to recruit uh, uh, colleagues, and so we reach the, our offer uh, monthly. And uh, since next month, we, you will find a link for each uh, name of the, the course of the learning unit, a link to, a, to more information uh, uh, that can be very useful to, to make a choice. For instance, uh, we can say uh, teaching methods, uh, how many credits, uh, which is the term in which the course is uh, held, and uh, the language of the course. Of course, this is also another important information and so on. Uh, of course, also the course program. And um, uh, what else? Um, so you can look at the domain of your interest and find which are the courses that we actually have uh, enabled for, for, for Aruna. Um, on the right column, uh, there are other student opportunities in Naples. Uh, these are uh, mainly, we can see summer schools, so seasonal schools or uh, uh, events and uh, um, uh, short courses, mainly focused on uh, soft skills uh, competencies. Uh, so in the, in, the, in the central column, there are uh, more, we can see disciplinary uh, learning units, while on the right, uh, other kind of uh, uh, formation for, uh, for, uh, for, uh, for uh, to, to create more competencies uh, for the students. Uh, well, uh, of course, you can also find other information about generally the University of Naples and many links that can be useful for you. For me, it's all. Uh, of course, I'm here for uh, any question. Thank you. So, okay. Thank you very much, Bruno. Uh, I don't know if you have any Questions for our panel members before we proceed? No questions? Okay, so uh, if there are no questions, we would like to play a final video. There is and a problem. Elena, sorry. Ah, so sorry. Oh, sorry. Sorry to interrupt. In the box. Thank you very much, Alessia. There's a question from Barbara Taster, who is asking, what are the living costs for the students? I think that you can find this information uh, in Marina PowerPoints, uh, in one of the slides. Um, Alessia, you can find a link. Please, I'm Marina. I'm sorry, I'm just, just one second. Uh, in order to make it clear, I just want to share a page because um do you see my okay yes we okay. do yes we here, do here there is a page at the link i shared before with all the costs of living in naples divided by arguments as you can see so you can have information about pretty much everything and also there is a lot another link i don't know why i can see I'm sorry for that. Here is a li little presentation with all useful information about what do you need to know before coming here in Naples, but also um, other information about planning your uh, trip, trip here and living here in Naples. So I can just suggest you to um, take a look at my presentation uh, in order to use all the links we shared with you because you will find pretty much everything you need to know about uh, costs of, of living and also other useful information. Okay, thank you very much, Marina. Alessia? Yes, okay. I think there is another Sorry. question. Yes, there is another question. Sorry. Okay. Uh, from Antoine, Antoine, sorry for the mistakes of pronunciation. Is this university also the world map for study abroad or is the Aurora separate program? <laughs> 
maybe Professor Costantino can help us to answer to the question or do we have? You are muted, Valeria. You are muted, Professor Costantino. You are muted. We the microphone is muted. Aurora is part of our international program. So as a Aurora uh, students, uh, you can uh, be part of all our international program, Erasmus uh, agreements and any, any kind of uh, um, courses for international and uh, Italian student. I don't know if I got the, the answer or you can replicate on that. <coughs> Uh, can I also ask it like this? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. um, yeah, yeah cool. like, um, I meant like uh, I'm from the VU in Amsterdam and there we have a world map with all the universities that are available for my study by bio biomedical sciences. And um, your uh, university was not on that map. Is that because Aurora is a separate program or um, do you not have resources for a study like uh, biomedical sciences? Because I believe you do. No, uh, we have a medical science and we also have uh, an English program mm -hmm. for uh, medical uh, sciences. Okay. The, the reason why we are not in this world map, uh, unfortunately, I, mm -hmm. I do not have the answer, but uh, okay. for sure, and uh, <clears throat> I... And for sure, you can study uh, as a Aurora student or as Erasmus student here in medical sciences, either in Italian, either in English, if you like. Okay, thank you. Thank you to you. Any other questions? Let me see. Katarina yeah. says, uh, maybe this map is university specific. Yes, maybe, yeah. Could be, could be the right answer. Yeah, yeah. but considering uh, uh, the approval of MAMA agreement, maybe will be not necessary uh, the the bilateral ag agreement. So soon it will be possible to come here without um, um, any other you know, agreement. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah, exactly. Of course. Any other comment? Curiosity, you would like to know about- I can, I can also moments. add that in the meantime that we have a program for scholarship mm -hmm. um, beside Erasmus scholarship. We have a program called the Study in Naples and uh, uh, we have about 24, 25 uh, scholarship every year for international student uh, to be enrolled in our classes. Okay, thank you very much, Valeria. Mm -hmm. So, if there are no other questions, we are very close to the end now. Okay, so we, I think that was quite clear that we have a strong, you know, connection <laughs> with our city and with the, our university. It's really, you know, an emotional deep connection. And, uh, you know, uh, to close, uh, we would like to share with you a video. And the aim of this video is, uh, you know, represent the, an attempt to share with you also the magical and warm touch of Naples. That is uh, a beautiful place to visit and a wonderful place to, to stay. You know, visuals are much more powerful than words and uh, maybe they can help you to engage beside the content you know that we have shown today with the emotional feeling you will experience once in Naples. That is a place that no one wants to leave when, <laughs> when arrives and uh, when you know can leave the city deeply. So how we could describe uh, Naples? Uh, Naples is beautiful, is mysterious, is chaotic, is lively, is gritty, is complex. This state of being more than, you know, objectives, I think, describe Naples. Uh, Naples is a city that is not possible to look at from a definite of, uh, you know, of univocal perspective. 
because if you look you know at naples one way you are immersed in the beautiful bay of naples if you just turn around you know you are looking at the patchwork of you know the beautiful neighborhoods uh, that puts historical buildings beside pretty street art uh, and uh, next to very ancient church so i don't i don't want to add more and uh, i we hope that uh, you will enjoy the video So we are quite moved. <laughs> uh, I can see, you know, from the chat that uh, uh, Giuseppe said, you know, we have a saying, those who come to Naples may cry first, but they will certainly cry when they leave the city. <laughs> so um, thank you very much, uh, you know, for, um, for staying with us uh, today. And uh, um, Alessia, we can put our general uh, Aurora team uh, uh, email address in the chat. So if you want to have more information about, you know, your staying in Naples, more information about the university, or if you would like to have a look at the presentations, uh, especially the one that Marina shared, you can just, you know, use this email address. Okay. Is there? And Bruno also, okay, perfect. Uh, also shared our, you know, uh, the, the, the perspective of Aurora project from, you know, the, our university website. Anything else in the chat? Also Valeria shared, you know, another, uh, you know, link about the international uh, page uh, for the, um, uh, international offers at UNINA that you can learning uh, and training opportunities that you can uh, you can find that are available. Okay, so we are perfectly on time, even a bit earlier. And uh, so we hope to see you in Naples <laughs> and uh, in the next future. And uh, this would be great. I think yes. we can close the session. Yeah, I wish to thank all the participants today and uh, uh, you all of the Aurora group for this uh, beautiful organization. Thanks a lot. And of course, uh, um, if anyone wish to contact me as Erasmus delegate, uh, now I will post my email in the chat as well. 
Thanks again, guys. Thank you very much. And uh, obviously, thank you very much to this beautiful and complex uh, project, project that is the Aurora project. Thank you very much.